Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome back to another Pixgun 3D video, and today we have another Mythbusters. Uh, I really don't really have anything to say to you guys other than thank you guys so much for supporting this series still. This series is getting pretty old. I mean, the first video was uploaded more than a year ago or something. So, yeah, thank you. Let's just get into the video though. Alright, so for the first myth of the day, it is different cars in Battle Royale have different speeds. So, I'm going to be testing out three cars, I think, and... I think I'm going to go to this location each time because every single time I'm pretty sure that there is a car. So the first car I'm going to try out is this one. This one's probably my favorite. I think I'm going to test out the like slower speeds when you're going up like hills and then the top speed to each one of the cars. Oh yeah, and also I'm probably going to do uh, a side by side or something if I can do that with my editor. So here's the top speed for this one. It's pretty fast actually. Alright, got this one, this one, uh, I mean, I feel like the durability, or not the durability, I mean like the turning on each one is a little bit different, but, hmm, the speed and the acceleration don't seem any different from each other, just looking at it. And now to test the off-road, of course I was going pretty fast, but here's the off-road. And yeah, I've, I believe that they are the same. This guy's shooting me. Oh right, yeah, let's go on to the next car, which I'm probably going to try out the default car. Here we are with this one. And I think I'm going to just try out the... Uh, here's the off-road of it. And it seems pretty quick, and its acceleration seems to be the same. Top speed is probably right now. Yeah, I don't really see any difference. Look at that sharp turn. Oh yeah, so as of right now, I think that there is no difference. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side now. Alright, so as you can see, I believe that their top speeds are all around the same thing because, I mean, once they started going, they were going at the same speed. I know that the acceleration wasn't the exact same for each of them. That's just because I was driving a little bit before that, but yeah, all of them are the same speed, I believe. Thank you so much for this myth, and let's get on to the next one. Alright, so this next myth is that the Void Ray Rifle is red, or a different color in this thing over here. And, as you can see, it just instantly confirmed right there. Man, this looks super cool. I'm pretty sure this tunnel changes a ton of weapons colors, but, I mean... Turning it red is absolutely beautiful. Red's my favorite color, if you couldn't tell. And as you can see, it kind of changes other colors too, but the red is just where it's at. Okay, so now that we already know that it is on this map, it's red on this map, I think we're gonna go uh, try it out on the Silent School map. And there we go. It is red. Unfortunately, the bullets don't turn red. It kind of stays a purple color, purple pink. But yeah, if you guys have any more myths just like this, that would be really cool because you guys know all the small details. It, they just baffle me. And I don't know, I, I love them for some reason. So here's pink, here's purple, pink, purple, or no, r purple and then red. Okay, <laughs> I'm tired. Let's go on to the next myth. Okay, so this next myth is that you can actually rocket jump with the Soul Thief without taking any damage. And I always believed that it was only the Killer Orca and the OBX Bad Code, but let's just go ahead and try this out. If, of course, I can actually survive. Okay, I'm going to go on to a different map because these people are three categories spamming, unfortunately. Let's see, I'll try it one more time. Oh yeah, I'm going on to a different map. And it does not look like I'm taking any damage, actually. Hmm. Of course, uh, it doesn't boost you as high. Of course, I'm using uh, the double jump boots to kind of add on to it so I don't fall instantly. But this may be a lot better than I thought. Because, I mean, five bullets, and it actually does quite a bit of damage compared to, like, the Killer Orca. And, I don't know. This may be like an actual weapon that some people may want to use. <laughs> I can just imagine using this quite a while. Okay, so that myth is confirmed. Let's go ahead and get on to the next myth. Okay, so this next myth is apparently if I put on the magical skies, which I got it right here, and then I go into the clan thing, 
and I kind of just press on it for a few seconds and then go to the code for a few seconds. <laughs> Alright, this is super confusing, but let's just try it out. And apparently it will turn the sky black. So, hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep it on for a little bit longer than he wants me to. That may screw it up, but I'm just going to do it because I failed so many myths. And I'm not going to cut this part because I just want to show you that I'm doing it correctly because I don't want a thousand people telling me I'm doing it wrong. But, okay, so here's the moment of truth. Whoa. Just, whoa. Oh my goodness, do you see that? That's, let me just unequip everything real quick. Oh my goodness. All right, so I've got some stuff unequipped from it and just look at that sky. It's like a mix between two of, oh, dang. I don't, oh, it just looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that myth is confirmed. I wanna see if you can actually uh, just keep it like this. So far, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> it may have saved. Maybe, please. Please. Uh, moment of truth. Oh, okay. So, unfortunately, it doesn't stay like that. That would have been really cool. But, either way, yeah, that myth is confirmed. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, so this next myth, I believe it is on D-Day. And it says that the plane has some sort of like Nazi symbol on it. So of course it is D-Day, so there's a high possibility that it is. I'm gonna use the dead men's rifle because it has a times to zoom on it. So it should be pretty good for scoping out the Nazi symbol if there is one. And can we please do something about three category spam? It's so OP. All right, there's the plane. Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down and also Take a screenshot of it and let's see okay so I'm not sure if there's something on the bottom of it but just looking at this I've slowed down the clip and everything I've watched it frame by frame I can't really see anything resembling a Nazi symbol on it I may be wrong go ahead and tell me in the comment section but that myth is busted for Android okay so this next myth could be really really silly and it's basically saying on the prison map there's someone who whispers, let me out, Raphael, I believe. So, let's just go ahead and test this out. It's probably myth busted, though. Okay, so, once I kill him, I think I'm going to mute my mic and also boost the sound by, like, 200% so you guys can hear it way better. Uh, I didn't really know what the gate he was talking about was, so I just did a ton of different areas. And if you could hear, like, a little girl in the background, I'm really sorry, that's my little sister. She came in to tell me that they were going or something like that. I don't really remember too much, but that's against the point. I did not hear anything. So if you want me to check out a different area on that map, or if you I missed anything, just go ahead and tell me, and I'll retry it. But yeah. The myth is busted as of right now, so let's get into the next one if we do have any. Okay, so I got this myth about crabs, but I'm really not sure where to find the crabs, so if you can, go ahead and tell me where the crabs are, but there's a different myth I want to try out. And that is that apparently there is a helicopter in here, 
that is from the campaign. So I'm going to check around this place. I've seen that book in quite a few areas, and it seems like they reskin a lot of these paintings, but I can tell that they've added quite a few things to this map ever since last time I tried. There's some fishies. I'm going to kind of look for crabs. Those aren't crabs. Hmm. Okay, so I know for sure it's in the... Oh, there it is. There is the helicopter you must be talking about. And, yep, I can see some... Sim there... It nope, it's this one. It's the green one. So, yeah, it does seem like that's the same exact one. Hmm. Or it's it's just another helicopter, but... I don't know, that's pretty cool. And it seems like, uh... Instead of creating new models for a lot of things, they actually use the old ones, which... I'm not actually mad about that because if they made new models for everything, I mean, they could do it, but the game would take up a lot more space, so I think this is for the best. I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around with me through all this pixel gun because I know that the game is kind of slowing down a little bit, and I would like to do other games. Uh, it just, it's so hard, I don't know. It's just really hard to get everything ready and just sit down and record for hours at a time when I have my family at my house. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Often I am upset that I cannot fall in love, but I guess it's the voice that's just falling out of it.